Welcome back to another pristine production tutorials here as we uh, move on uh, from uh, into our third uh, tutorial here. Um, it's going to be uh, how to make a pro so called. It's going to be volume three. Uh, we have volume two on our um, on my page here, and uh, feel free to look me up and subscribe. Uh, once you enter, uh, subscribe and, and and send me your uh, mastered song with um, the vocals you will get a chance to uh, win the VMR Slate bundle. And I'll send you all the uh, information, how to install and all that stuff, uh, no um, payment required. So that's that's gonna be the, the first place winner prize along with a copy of Studio One Four. Second place winner is gonna get uh, just the uh, copy of Studio One uh, Four. So uh, I'm currently at 60 guys, help me to reach more. And uh, I wanna take the time and a uh, uh, shout out to our friend, um, uh, my, 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 my dude, uh, my brother Francisco um, if I can type in uh, drum covers here this is all you people want to learn uh, soca how to, how, to, how to build these things right from a drummer's pers perspective I want you to look up um, Francisco there he is and he did a video Let's go. on um, Mr. Killer Run Wild with it and this guy is talented this song so I Actually, didn't have much shout snip. out to him he playing all this stuff how you do the hi-hats the, the the snare drums and all these things to get that authentic soak of the last under four and uh he always show you how to do it as slow together. and then he speeds up and show how you do it and it rough so shout out to my to my to my guy right there francisco hazel bless up bro so um yeah, so we're back here, and we're going to be talking about um, how to make Soka Volume 3. And uh, we're going to be uh, using a little bit more um, uh, slower vibe Soka. I'm going to play a little bit of the song here. Uh, this is uh, a track I, I produced and recorded. Um, the vocalist uh, Shanti Mack. And uh, the tune is called Vibe of Soka. So I'm going to play a little bit of it here. Then we're going to break down the elements, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Shanti Mag vibes up the soca here. So let's cut down straight in. So so as, as usual, um, this is um BPM one hundred here. So we're doing a little bit more slow bass groovy soca. Um, I'm using the element Dune three. Um, this is what I'm doing here. So remember, um, get a hold of good synthesizers, guys. I'm gonna play that there. This is what I'm doing. So that's a way. That's a that's a way you can uh, also um, produce soca, uh, soca music here. Uh, in the previous videos, I already talked about why you gotta pre-mix your rhythm so you can impress the artist and get it professional and sound and that stuff. And I'm gonna get into that when it's gonna talk about elements here. So I'm playing this here, and I'm using a, a guitar here. I'm gonna show you what library I'm using. It's a uh, mute slap uh, from Penting House here. And uh, I'm using that as the rhythm line there uh, to go along with it. So it sounds something like this. Mm -hmm. 
So you want that chop, right? Like. You want that chop. And I have a Strat sample here. Um, if I play it by itself. It's just adding a little bit of a more live feel here. So if I play these two together here. So that's what I'm doing in combination with uh, the Dune 3 synthesizer here. So we have this here. Most of the time you're going to hear artists, um, some of the artists, um, like a black man from a nappy. You might hear something like, you know, like... So a similar group we have there. So I'm using a slower of um, pace played version of that. So once you got the guitar grooves here, make sure you got that. You know, to make sure you get that authentic soca feel. That, that's, that's starting the groove right there. I'm gonna go into the kick drum here. Um, straight forward, one straight. Quarter note. That's what I'm using. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm probably compressing that, and um, I have the the rim shot here. I'm gonna play that here. Nothing special. It's repeated loop. Then I'm gonna play the hi hats by itself. And also I have a snare drum that's played. So the drum is playing similar to what the, um, the rim shot is playing, but with a little bit of groove on it. So that's what I'm doing. In, in, in this case, in the way how I sequenced it, what I went ahead and did, I added like a live drum feel to it, like what you heard in the song. I'm using uh, the Studio One drummer here. And um, I love this drum kit. It has some very authentic sound. So I, I, compo I, I produced this song, I composed it in a way that like a live drummer would play with some backing loops like uh, like i brought in a drummer in the studio and um let him play the live drum feel of it so when i actually play the beginning of the song you hear the drum kicks in right there's a drum roll here and that's how it started have the toms hitting here and i come in with the electric drums Then I'm gonna come in with the live drums here. So let me let me isolate what the live drums feel is doing by itself. It's complementing the track, right? That's what the live drum is playing. Right, so that's what I did in combination uh, with these snare drums. So remember, guys, you gotta make sure you get your groove right, and uh, I'm gonna bring that in now uh, with the with the uh, synthesizer. So I'm gonna start off with the kick, and you're gonna see how it comes in here. I have a second uh, keyboard, by the way, uh, playing um, this part here. That's another instance of Dune. 
you know, I, I'm complimenting the first keyboard that I played here. So basically just these two keyboards uh, and the uh, guitar and one more extra keyboard when uh, Shanti hits the chorus it, it comes into uh, to that, that, that brighter synthesizer. So I'm going to play the guitar and the two keyboards. show you another element here let's get back to the drum real quick so I have the kick I have the guitar strat playing the groove here I have the rim shop and the hi-hats right so this is what I have here with the live drums then we have this thing right here right? That song you hear a lot in uh, Marshall uh, songs, Destra, that's coming from the West African um, percussion series. I could use this. There it is. You hear a lot of that in the, in the soca music, right? So, and that's a pretty um, basic pattern. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Goes along with the drums. Kick. Hi hats, snare, rim shot, live drums. So uh, let's bring in um, that last keyboard when Shanti hits the chorus. Um, you hear this keyboard here? That's like the big feel right there. So soca music, you don't have a lot of elements. You have the percussion, yes, and some additional drums, but they, they work as one unified sound, and you don't need like 50 different instruments on it when it comes to the, the melody and the sound of the, of the chords. I have two keyboards. Um, a, main key, a, a main keyboard here, that's three, and I have the guitar and the bass, and the rest is just the live drums along with the um, elect electronic uh, percussion drums here. So uh, when I reach to, I'm gonna play the guitar on the strat here, when I reach to uh, Shanti's um, chorus here. Vibes are the soca. Oh, when you speak as some funny party, turn up like you can't go anywhere. Just feel like you grab somebody and bubble them anywhere. Everybody just enjoy the vibes, cause we no watch no face. And then, of course, we have a good punchy bass line here. The bass line has to be nice and catchy, right? It has to have a nice groove in it, so make sure you we work on that, guys. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, for the soca, this part we have a break here where um, Ashanti uh, does her verse. I'm going to play the live drum so you can hear what that song like. I'm going to play it right this part. So, what I'm doing, I'm playing a, a little bit of loose playing here at this break here. Let's play it back. And it snaps right back in. So I'm playing some accent there. If I play all the snares uh, together here, uh, with uh, let's I think I have all it. So let's let's play it back here. So 
so that's how i compose this rhythm based on like if a live drummer f uh was playing along a live feel uh, with uh, the electronic drums so when she hit that break line there you hear the drum switch up there <laughs> another uh, groove you might hear a lot in 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 the soca music here I'm gonna, let me bring back the drums guitar here you hear the drum speed up that's to bring like another transition in the music there uh, so she goes back to her verse you hear a lot of it in um um some of the road march road march, <laughs> road march stuff so it gives her a good transition there. Oh, what a wonderful feeling. Vibes are so revealing. Music pass to the ceiling. So uh, I'm going to stop there, guys. Hit me up. Uh, if you want to learn more, I'm going to be doing more soca tutorials. We're going to be doing the one with the faster soca. Uh, so you can hear um, what that does. You know, we're going to let you hear some um, Patrice style stuff as well. And uh, don't be a, a, a don't, please uh, remember to subscribe to my page if you haven't already. Um, and uh, you can send in your mix to a subscriber's mix and master contest plugin giveaway. I can give you a copy of the VMR and uh, you can win a copy of Studio One. And I uh, look up my new soca rhythms, I have three of them out already is soca stage, uh, soca groove, and soca waist rhythm, uh, which I can uh, make available available to you for purchase including the stem file so hit me up on facebook instagram and twitter and i uh, will catch you on the next one <laughs>